Hello and welcome to Not Another Whiskey Review with me, the Whiskey Novice. No, this is actually something a little different this time. This one, a how-to. A how-to. And this one is a how-to build a whiskey collection with £214 and 27 pence. Yes, 214 pounds and 27 pence. Why that number? Well, this was actually, to say a challenge, it was a thing sort of originated with a, a dram divided. Frederick and Emil, make sure to give their channel a follow, always worthwhile. And the idea was when they started it, was to how to build a whiskey collection on 300 euros. And then it sort of bounced around the world. It went to America and obviously with uh, exchange rates, etc. Now, when I wrote, when I come up with my thoughts, my views on this, the exchange rate might have been different from what it is today. But I would be quite on the point with these things. So I'm going to go with 214 pounds and 27 pence. Yes, because I'm anal. Anyway, how to build a whiskey collection. This is a fun challenge. This is why I picked it up, I thought, because it gave me a bit of an idea of what's available, what's out there. All of these bottlings, which I have named today or will be naming today, are or were available on Amazon at the prices and Master of Malt. Amazon and Master of Malt were the two sources I used and none of them were on offer. This was the price they were being put at that day and it was the RRP that they were offering them at that day. There was no special offers on them. So here we go. How to build a whiskey collection on 214 pounds and 27 pence. I want to start with a bourbon. Why do I want to start with bourbon? Well, I actually still quite like bourbon. I know there are those out there, Scotch, Scotch only, Irish, Irish only, etc., etc. I like to mix things up a little. So I would like to start with a bourbon and I'm going to start with one that I need to replace, Wild Turkey 101. I think for the money, Wild Turkey 101 is probably one of the best bourbons on the market. 50.5% volume and comes in at 26 pounds so there's your first one up 26 pounds against that total of 214 pounds and 27 pence so yes i always like to have a few bourbons in my cabinet they don't differ an awful lot but you know if you want something with a bit of heft for the money this is hard to look beyond moving on i do like to challenge my palate i do like uh, taste varieties so rather than going into other nations so for coming to the home nations for me i want to hang out there in canada with a lot 40 rye i love this this to me is one of the best ryes in the market bald at 43 percent as i say a canadian rye whiskey probably it is yes rye whiskey uh coming in at 32 pounds and 96 pence Yes, so you've got two very, very different things going on already. Your lot, your wild turkey 101, sweet, typical, very, very typical of bourbon rye. This is an incredible rye in my book. It is indeed. So if you can get this lot 40 rye, I would recommend it. Now, the next one I'm moving on to, I'm not going to cheap out on in any way. There were probably some of the rest of these I've tried well, I've obviously tried to keep it within that boundary, but I think whenever it comes to certain whiskies, you can't cheat out, you can't hold back, and it's an Irish. And for me, the best Irish whiskey on the market is Powers John's Lane. This one, a slightly more modern version in that the, the bottling is slightly different. You maybe see the older one with like the purpley kind of maroon colored label bald at 46%. This is a 12 year old Irish single pot still. So you get a very, very definitive flavor. You're not talking single malt, you're talking pot still, a very, very definitive flavor, something which is Irish and only Irish. Now, this is 51 pounds 95 pence at time of press. Maybe dearer than that now, probably dearer than that now. I just won't cheap out on this. I'll pay whatever they charge for this. This is my favorite Irish whiskey. So we have an American, we have a Canadian, we have 
an Irish single pot still there. All very, very different. Now we're moving to Scotland and we will remain in Scotland for the rest of my choices because in all honesty, I'm a, probably more of a Scotch whiskey fan than anything. So if it were me, I'm building this collection. What do I want? Well, first of all, from my Scotch whiskey, I want something light. I want an easy sipper. I want something that isn't going to be overpowering and just some that I can't cope with. So I want something and I want a blend as well. So I'm getting an easy sipping blend. Dewar's White Label. Yes, it's available here. You do have to look for it. Not as available as it is in the States, but it is available here. It is it is it's a blend from the Dewar's Group. It's, you know, in certain parts, a cheap blend bottled at 40%. And it is £24.70. As I said, probably a lot cheaper elsewhere. But I like it. I think it's a very easy drinking, approachable Scotch blend. But it, it it's a blend, but it reminds me of Speyside. So you get a very nice, sweet, slightly floral, Speyside-y feel about it. So you're, you're working your way into Scotch whiskey the right way in my opinion. So you've got that, then you want to look for bigger, bolder flavors. For me, I would want to move to sherry. And for me, a great example of that is this, the Glendronach 12 year old, bottled at 43%. Very good, clean sherry whiskey, coming in at 38 pounds, 45 pence. It's not cheap, no it ain't, but it's a really, really good example of a sherry whiskey for me and one worth picking up. You're working on a good collection by now. So, I've got one more bottle. Where do I go? I've got a good bourbon here, which I like. A nice sweet bourbon. I've got a good rye, which represents rye incredibly well. A good Irish whiskey, which to me represents Irish whiskey all day long. Nice light, space blend. Good hefty sherry. I want something peated to finish off. And this is the one for me, our big 10 year old. Coming in at 38 pounds at time of print. Uh, look, our big 10, it's to me all day long, one of the best peated whiskies on the market, bald at 46%. It's just, oh yes it is. It is just good stuff. So look, there you have a collection, and that collection of six bottles comes in at 212 pounds and five pence. Leaving you, wait for it, two pounds and 23 pence, which you can feel free to spend in any car showroom or travel agents of your choice. So there you have it, a collection. And I mean, to me, that's a good collection. That's if, if I had those six bottles of whiskey in my cabinet, that would probably do. But don't tell the missus. Because she'd want to know why the rest of them are there then. But yes, a collection easily picked up for £214.27. And, and I would like to thank uh, The Dram Divided, Frederick and Emil, for starting this. There's other guys out there. I'll throw the links into the, the details below the video details for a few other guys who have, who have met this challenge. And if you are a video tuber, blogger, whatever, writer, I, I challenge you to, to try this. It's, it's fun, it's interesting because it does give you an idea of what's out there and what sort of price range it falls in at and what you can get. And as I said, for me, I would be very happy with these six bottles in my collection. So there you go. They are in my collection, as you can see. Fortunately, I've just added quite a few others. I will leave it at that and uh, just say thank you for being here. Cheers. Hey, thanks for watching my video. Please click and subscribe to be notified of further content.